I had to come up with a lie because I was going to see my idol. I was going to see Michael Jackson. If this is the lie I came up with after I get my ticket, maybe I can pull a man to the side who's taking up the tickets and tell him I was one of the, the Make-A-Wish Foundation kids. Now, don't judge me, y'all. I was going to get backstage however I could because I was skinny. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I look like something was wrong with me, y'all. going on today it's your boy Trey and I keep forgetting that Nene is not here today she is still recovering y'all and thank you thank you so much for all y'all prayers and blessings but trust and believe she will be back soon but until then y'all know your boy Trey is gonna hold it down but before we get started y'all make sure you guys like subscribe and in the words of Nene Come in, cause you know she like to talk. And make sure you guys check out the Epic Empire. Everybody link will be in the description box below. And don't forget July 18th, Epic Empire meet and greet. So y'all today, we have some JJ's chicken. But before we get started, like always, y'all know we can't get started without giving thanks to the man upstairs, Mr. Cure himself. Jesus. Y'all want me to pray? Let us pray. Father God, thank you for these chicken wings we're about to receive for the nourishment of our, my body. Father God, if there's anything that's harmful to this chicken, please take it away with your everlasting arms of protection. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. I keep saying we, we, because y'all know how I'm so used to Nene. But look, y'all, I'm going to get this thumbnail in right quick. Got a nice I don't know if you call it a story time, but I want to tell you guys about the first time I met Michael Jackson. Let me get this thumbnail in. Okay, got it. Anyway, I'm going to get it situated a little bit. So what's been going on, y'all? Hope everybody is taking care of theirself, themselves and washing off and doing all the things you know to do to get back right. Mm, I forgot to get y'all first bite. So y'all know the first bite food not here. Mm. I'm gonna get the first bite of this chicken though. Don't y'all come in here to my son. Them chicken wings little. Listen, I don't like big meat, man. I do not like it at all. I just don't like big meat. I mean, I don't see the purpose of it. I mean, what? <laughs> the bear weighed 10 more pounds than the chicken? I mean, come on, man. Still, I mean, small meat is always the best meat because they don't eat that much. You know, you might get a keto chicken or something that didn't eat a lot of other things. He just was trying to stay healthy until, you know, he met his maker. Mmm. First bite. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Man, when I tell y'all JJ's got the best hot sauce, I think I told y'all that before. But y'all know me. Mm. I'm gonna talk and I'm gonna eat at the same time. Comment down below if y'all think I can talk and eat at the same time. I bet y'all saying, what? what kind of question is that, Trey? You talk all the time. Mouth almighty. Tongue everlasting. Mr. Dictionary himself. The thesaurus. The Bible, the good book, everything. Yeah, that's me. Huh? That's what I do. I talk. Everywhere I go, I talk. It don't matter. I'm surprised in school that I didn't get most talkative. But I did get most popular. And I did get class clown and most talented. Those are my high school superlatives. Speaking of high school and speaking of back in the day, I want to tell y'all the first time I met 
my idol, Michael Joseph Jackson. Some of y'all may know him as the king of pop. My arms itch. Some of y'all may know him as Lil Ben. I don't care what you know him. I don't care what you think of him. That's my idol. Been down with him since day one. And ain't nothing changed yet. I owned it, y'all. At least I used a napkin. Let me wipe my mouth. Y'all know I ain't gonna wipe my mouth with this napkin that been up under my arm. Huh? I ain't nasty like that. But listen, y'all. I wanna tell y'all about the first time I met. Okay. Let me back up. I ain't gonna say met. Cause y'all know us YouTubers, sometimes we embellish the story a little bit. I'm just gonna say, the first time I went to see Michael Jackson. Hmm. It was back in the day. During the Jackson 5 victory tour. And man, when I tell you, back then the tickets were only $25, y'all. $25 to see Michael Jackson? That was a steal back in the day. I'm talking about $25. So, your boy had to cut a, cut a couple yards and save up his money. So, the concert was in Knoxville, Tennessee. And for those y'all don't know, that's where I'm from. Where I'm from. Tennessee, but I'm not from Knoxville. Okay, so we get to Knoxville, and I'm like super excited about seeing my idol because y'all got to understand everything I did was about Michael Jackson. Everything. My first talent show I was in, I sung a Michael Jackson song. Now, I was doing my song, right? I'm gonna break off from that little story time. I was doing a Michael Jackson song. Got to one part of the song. Y'all know we didn't have instrumentals back then. But we didn't have access to them. But. Got to one part of the song. How about the record gonna scratch? So it made it look like your boy was up there just lip syncing. And y'all know how I come with the vocals. Man, I jumped off the stage like Jane Bryan and ran into my mama arms. That's a whole nother story though. Back to me meeting Michael Jackson. So we get to the stadium. And mind you, the concert is sold out. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's sold out, y'all. I've been saving up. Got the new outfit on, you know what I'm saying? Got my Michael Jackson jacket on. I mean, it wasn't real, but that ain't the point. I always had effort. I'm sitting there, we in line, getting ready to go in. Y'all know back in the day, man, they ain't care. You ain't had no metal detectors or nothing. You just get in line, you go in. Get just get ushered to your seat. So, the whole time I'm thinking, I got to meet Michael. I got to meet him. Just like any other kid, want to meet Michael Jackson. So, y'all know me. I'm trying to come up with all kind of ways I can get backstage, right? And when you end up even in the same city as Michael Jackson, your mind get to, your mind be on some bull. I mean, you you be about that life. I mean, you be, you be thinking about doing all kind of stuff. So me being a kid, my mind wasn't that developed yet. So I can say, okay, well, I can sneak in the back door or the side door or whatever. I think I was about maybe eight or nine, maybe. Little old bit of skinny, frail little thing. You know, I was a little bit of boy. What you expect? I was a little bit of frail little thing. I'm still skinny now, but that ain't the point either. The point is, I had to come up with a lie because I was going to see my idol. I was going to see Michael Jackson. So, don't laugh at me, y'all. Don't judge me. This is the lie I came up with. I said, well, after I get my ticket, 
Maybe I can pull a man to the side who's taking up the tickets and tell him that uh, I was one of the, the Make-A-Wish Foundation kids. Now, don't judge me, y'all. I was going to get backstage however I could. So I said, if I tell him I was one of the kids from the Make-A-Wish Foundation, because I was skinny, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I looked like something was wrong with me, y'all. Maybe the man led me to the back. Needless to say, that didn't work. But, I tried. So, don't judge me. Don't laugh. And don't judge me. So, next, we sitting up in the stadium. You know, back in the day, and they have all this extra stuff that you can sneak in and all that. So, we seen an entourage of uh, cars coming in and you know I know it was Michael now it was like five cars and then there was a van with a police escort so me and my friends who went with me we like that's Michael that's Michael and guess what y'all it was Michael and his family brothers you know so the concert getting ready to start so all the lights went out in the stadium, right? So this big old monster came out. That's, and here's the point where it separate the men from the boy, the rich from the poor, the talent from the not talent. Michael's stage show can compete with some of the stage shows right now. Man, when I tell y'all, a big old monster came out of nowhere. Right? And they had like this big rock in the middle of the stage. And they had a sword in it. So the monster pulled the sword out. And he swung it like this, man. Man, and lasers shot out all over the stadium, right? Y'all know your boy. I'm trying to hold it in. I'm trying not to be one of them people that I see cry. And them little boys cry and stuff like, you know what I'm saying? Cause I grew up in East Lake Projects, right? And little boys ain't supposed to cry like that. So as much as close to the time for Mike to come out, the anxiety started kicking in. I started losing my sense of control, you know. My bottom lip went to trembling. My hand went to shaking. And 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 and, and one tear felt like it wanted to come out my eye. But it just wouldn't. It was like, I ain't gonna cry till Mike come out. I ain't gonna cry till Mike come out. That's what the tear seemed like it was saying. So, anyway, y'all, when the monster swung the sword across the stadium and laser went everywhere, an elevator came up out the ground, off the stage. It was Michael, Jermaine, Tito, Randy and Marlon. I think I'm forgetting somebody. I think it, I know it. I know it's six of them. Anyway, that ain't the point. So all of them stood at the top of the, the stairs, right? And it seemed like they stood there forever. So they had sunglasses on. So I'm looking at this point, y'all. I don't lost it. I'm. I'm I'm screaming like, I'm screaming like Beyonce was hit. You know when Beyonce was hitting that car, breaking car windows with that bat in Lemonade? That's how your boy was screaming. Oh, Michael, Michael. Don't judge me. That's my idol. So Mike took off his glasses, right? And you got to remember this. Remember, this was back in the day. Mike took his glasses off, right? Never seen somebody's skin that was just flawless. I know it was makeup on, but that ain't the point. The point is, Mike was getting his face beat back then. Man, Mike's face was beat up. You understand? Huh? <laughs> man, that man's face was beat up. I, I started to put me on some make. Nah, I know I didn't. I ain't gonna go that far. But that ain't the point. Okay? The point is, Mike was getting his face beat up. Back then. 
So he took his glasses off, right? And he took them off real slow. This is how slow he took them off. I'm gonna bring this chicken to my mouth. It was like this. That's how slow he took his glasses off, right? By this time, I'm in a frenzy. I'm jumping around. I'm speaking to everybody. I'm speaking to all ethnic. I'm speaking to Chinese people, white people, Ethiopians. Everybody was my friend that night. Everybody. Hey, how you doing? Michael is my idol. That's what I was saying. So, finally, the show about to start. So, all the brothers start walking down the steps. But each step they walked on, it lit up. So it was like, boom, 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 boom. So, the steps were lighting up. So they got to the last step. Boom. Man, when I tell y'all, Michael Jackson, my idol, through the microphone, about a hundred feet in the air, like this, he threw it up. He threw it up. The man threw the microphone in the air about a hundred, a hundred feet. Spent around about 50 times. You know how he might do that spear? Caught the microphone. Mid mic like this. I got to find some loan. The mic came down like this. Mike caught it like this here and said, Oh, I lost it. That was it for me. It wasn't, no, it wasn't nothing else to do. Mike caught the microphone mid in mid air after the spin. It was nothing else left to do, y'all. When he did that, I went to hollering, screaming. Calling folks, I was calling on everybody. My bottom lip was trembling. That was the highlight of my entire life, y'all. So if you if you didn't get an opportunity to see a Michael Jackson show before he passed away, you missed it, y'all. Mmm, chicken good. Mm -mm -mm. So, and the thing is, his last tour, oh, I was going. Wasn't no doubt about it. But then, Mike went away. He went away. I called home. Comment down below if y'all still here and if y'all remember where you were when you found out that Mike passed away. I was on my steps coming downstairs. I already knew that he was gone because you know how you just know. You just know because it's almost like they were just ready, you know, for the family to be notified. Sad, one of the saddest days of my life. So. Hmm. I had to sort of tearing into this chicken for your cold. And then they'll be back soon, y'all. There's nothing more important than getting your health and make sure everything all right. Nothing more important than that. Nothing. Mm, sorry, y'all. Mm. Sorry about that. Her health is way more important to me than 
um, anything. Pretty good meal. Hmm. Good job, I'm drinking coke. Comment down below if y'all use these metal straws. I don't know that. I don't even know. This <laughs> make the drink taste so good. But before we get, before I get up, I keep saying we, I'm so sorry, I'm so used to needing me, my sidekick me around. Before we get up out of here, y'all, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment. Cause you know she loves to talk. Make sure you guys check out the Epic Empire. But man, let me tell you. I, 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 I forgot what I was about to say. No, it wasn't a lie. I don't be lying like that. I don't lie all the time like that. Sometimes I lie though. I ain't gonna lie. I guess I just lied by saying I ain't gonna lie. I lied again just that fast. <laughs> I used to lie about little stuff. Like in school. Like I was a big like I was a class clown in my in my class, y'all. I ain't gonna even lie. I used to drop stink bombs. I I remember the time I dropped a stink bomb. While the basketball team was playing the game. I dropped a stink bomb. I threw a stink bomb on the court. They had to stop the game. That thing was stinking too. And once again, I was just up in the bleachers just laughing. Like everybody knew who did it, but it's almost like it was as expected. Today, they, they wouldn't have looked at it like that. They probably got kicked out of school. And then I dropped one in the band room one day. I still remember. I dropped it in the band room. And the band teacher came busting out the door. I was off in the cut head. He bust through the door. Boom. What Trey at? Ain't nobody did this but him. Once again, I got away with it. I've always gotten away. So to all my teachers, if you want to know something, hit me in the DM. I probably did it. Just like in junior high school. Mr. Rice, if you watching. I didn't pass gas, that wasn't me. There was this little white girl next to me. She one did it. But you just knew it was me, then. You? you called my name and everything. I knew that was you, Trey. That ain't the first time you don't did it. But I was laughing so hard at the little white girl that I couldn't even defend myself. She did it, cause she coughed. She was like, <laughs> I just bust out. Of course the battery died on me. Well, uh, I forgot what I was saying before the battery went dead. And you probably got two different angles, because I can't remember how close I had the camera and all that. So, but it's going to be all right. But I do want you guys to understand that it doesn't cost anything for you to subscribe to the channel. And... Nene and I are almost to 20K. Now, that's a big accomplishment by any stretch of the imagination. And that, like, when we first started this thing, we was, like, we was happy to get 100 people, let alone almost to 20,000 people. And, you know, we was talking to B-Love one day, and she was like, just put it in perspective. Imagine... 10,000 people in a room with you and everybody coming to see you imagine that and I was like wow that put it in a whole nother perspective hmm. Man I, Like I said earlier today, I hope you guys are taking care of yourself Washing your hands washing your feet. I'm starting to see a whole bunch of soap in Walmart now 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 uh, I know y'all going there looking for Lysol and stuff like that, but, you know, do about face sometime now and go on the next aisle where the soap is, okay? 
Cause you you in close quarters, you at home every day. You know, when you at home every day, that tell a whole nother different story about you. And it might be the side that whoever you stand with don't wanna know. Cause when you locked in the house with somebody, you know, I, I, I just take a shower tomorrow. No, no, no. We don't play that over here. Ain't, it ain't no tomorrow. How you gonna say you you preaching and, and telling people you hey man you you know tomorrow not promised, but you talking about you gonna take a shower tomorrow. Now that don't go that, that, that don't go together. Think about it. Do that go together? Tomorrow not promised. But in the same breath, you saying, I'm straight, I just take me a shower tomorrow. So if something happened to you, 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 you want to be, you want to be dirty? You want to be stinking? You know, you never know what could happen. You might have to run out the house one day. You might be running behind the mail truck because you're waiting on, you know, you're waiting on your stimulus check. And then you chase behind the mail truck and the mail truck just happened to not see you and slam on brakes. Now you don't fell all in the back of his truck. Now he thinking something don't spill, some chemical or something don't spill. There ain't no chemical. That's because you talking about some you'll take one tomorrow. So why put off tomorrow what you can do today? Yeah. You can do all that today. And watch good. And don't, don't, don't just be getting in that time. I'm I'ma rinse off. No. Can't do that either and can't be just rinsing off because human nature you can tell if somebody just took a wash up or not. I'm, I'm I hate to say it, I hate to say it for those of y'all who tell me I just took a wash up today. You can tell if somebody just took a wash up. Y'all want to know how you can tell? I'm gonna give you the knowledge on how you can tell. Tell them to do 13 jumping jacks. Not 14, not 12. Do 13 jumping jacks. Tell them to sit down in the kitchen at the kitchen table. Tell them to sit Indian style. They don't got to do nothing. They just sit there. Eventually, if they took a wash up, some fumes gonna start coming out that you never smelt before. It's gonna it's gonna be like a clean, dirty, like a it's like a clean and a dirty type smell. I guess you would say like, like it's gonna be like clarty. Like clean and dirty mixed up. It's like it's gonna be like real clarty. Man, they're gonna try to laugh at all the <laughs> what, what's that smell? <laughs> That's that wash up rag you use. And then you ain't even try to rinse the rag off. Washing your face with and everything. You mean washing up under your arms with the red name? Washing your face with it. Don't, don't do that. We got to limit the spread of these new things that's in the air. These stuff that's in the air, y'all. Y'all know I ain't got no sense. Anyway, man. I'ma get on up out of here, man. I didn't want too much, y'all. Just wanted y'all to know that. Nene, thank you all for all the prayers and all the, the, the love and all this stuff. And But y'all know it always got to be one person in the comments. It always got to be one person that say some crazy stuff. The comment in the last video I did was, um, as if my title didn't go with what was in the video. The title said, please leave. Nene, don't leave. Nene left me because she had to go in the hospital. See, when you got a negative mind, the first thing you thought when you saw the title was me and Nene's finna break up. If you are a fan of Trey and Nene, you would know that I've said and she said on many occasions, nobody's going nowhere. So that thought should have never entered your mind. Nene leaving. Oh, she can leave. She can go to the store. She can go to Walmart. She can go anywhere she want. But trust and believe nobody is going nowhere. That's the negative mind you have. But I can give you some advice. Go get you a partner. And then you won't have to think about what me and mine are doing over here. With that being said, man, we ain't want too much, man. It's your boy Trey. 
checking in on behalf of Nene. Checking in, checking on, and now your boy Trey is checking out. Peace.